Yo, what's going on, sexy seven letter squad? We're here doing a ranked one v one, and I am playing Hercules. Boomba's hammer crit is what you guys wanted to see, so I'm gonna try my best to bring it to you. Fighting an Oleron. All right, all right. I fought this guy a few hundred times before. I will say, uh, no disrespect to him or anything. I do normally win against him so you know i'm hoping i'm hoping maybe i can do something here um now here's the thing a wise choice. i know you guys did not say to do anything other than crit but the issue is i kind of have to and it's not necessarily because of um uh, of this matchup in particular, but just because I, this is my fifth game of Hercules and that's not an exaggeration. It is literally my fifth game. Uh, it's just really, really hard to get anything going to the point where it's actually worth continuing the game. Nice. I did get the red buff there. But it's really hard to get anything going to where playing out the game is actually like a viable option. If I don't go into transcendence or some sort of something to keep me in the game early. Okay, you don't have beads, you're dead. Amazing. He does have beads. But he didn't use them fast enough and then just decided not to use them because he didn't use them fast enough? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. But he does have beads. And he just let me kill him. I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. But uh, also, weird play. Maybe he accidentally beads something before. I've done that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we've all done it, actually, at some point. We've accidentally beezed right when loading in the game because our fingers were off place or something. It happens. But you know what? That first blood. That is a heck of promising, my dude. Oh. Uh... Please die to archers. Oh, please die to archers. Damn. Almost. Almost. We got, uh... We got his alt there. I don't think I got his beads. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I did use my alt. I am CC immune in my alt, so... Um, I was able to make sure that my, my big boulder landed. I'm just going to zone him. Lucky you. Okay. All right. I'm just zoning. Nice. Very, very good. I hit the knock up. I hit the stun that got his beads. And now... He is in a very, very difficult situation. I have control over the buffs. I mean, I guess, actually, maybe I don't. Because I have to back here and red buff spawning. Maybe I can get there in time. Nice, I can. No, you do not, my sir. No, you do not. I don't know where you think you're going, brother. Oh. Nice. All right. I just, I literally just W keyed him. There was nothing special about that play. I just thought maybe there was a chance that he would uh he would choke if i just held w 
for a long enough amount of time. And it worked! Fucking me, baby. Uh, he has alt, I have no alt, and I am terrified. That being said, I do have my meditation relatively soon, and I am going to invade. Death is an option. Let's hope that he, uh... Decides he doesn't want to go down that course. Alright, I'm doing just an absurd amount of damage. I want to keep his attention on me rather than going towards the wave. Because him going towards the wave is bad for me, obviously. Didn't have to explain why, but if he goes towards the wave right there, then he's going to be able to clear. And, uh... Basically, because of his alt positioning, I won't be able to make it to my minion wave before they die to tower, which would suck. I'd lose a whole minion wave. But unfortunately for him, he decided the blood red in his eyes was permanent and uh, didn't go for the XP. I did alt him, thinking maybe he would lazy back there. Unfortunate. He didn't. This is what it is. Uh, beat stick is necessary. However, lucky for me, there is a beat stick alternative which is crit chance, which is shadow steel shuriken, which does 40% anti heal and 20% uh, crit. That's what I'm going to go. He's definitely going to go spectral. Obviously, he's going to have his Bancroft's finish now. So it's getting a little bit more and more risque as time goes on. And it's not going to be as easy all game. I'm not going to be able to keep a lead the whole game most of the time. He went Typhons. What the frickle? I tewed him for 113 and the two tower or the and the tower shot hit me for 113. So that was an exactly even trade. I just want to keep being overly aggressive here. And the reason being is he has almost no way to deal with it at the moment. He's he's behind. He's a couple levels down. And he should be scared of me. If he's not, it's a mistake. I'm gonna face tank this clear. I'm gonna just W key through everything, like I said before. Uh, I missed my one, which does kind of suck, but it doesn't matter too much. Like I said, I am I am just actually W keying everywhere, making sure I'm getting the farm I want, making sure I'm being overly aggressive for no reason at all. Nice, the one hit, the alt hit, and two kills. Doesn't kill. And the alts. I use mad. He died. <gasps> my big archer killed him, bro. He hit me, and my archer aggroed away from tower onto him. Bopped the shit out of him for like 8 damage and killed him. No way, dude. No, I don't think I've... I've played this game for a really long time. And I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. Ever. My whole life. Like, uh, this... This... A melee minion... Getting the kill on an Oleron under his tower in his ultimate. What the hell? Dude, let's go. That minion's on some fucking cocaine. Alright, I got my anti-heal crit chance. Hello, this is mine. How oh, nice of you to join me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where's my crit chance? Where's my crit, man? I have all of this crit chance, aka 20%. No crits. Oh, there's one. What if I just Yaga eat this? It did scare him enough to get close. Uh, I'm dead? Oh god, that hurt. Alright, fair play. I have no defense. You are hurting me. You have a good amount of life steal. I, did, I hit you how many times? Five autos, no crits. That's under the 20% crit chance, by the way. So, pretty fucked up. Game sucks. Let me just clear this out. Do you have alt? Probably. Am I scared? Absolutely. Well, he's double lifesteal at the moment. My guy is stacking that bad bitch. Okay, that was obviously going to happen. Could not scare me any less. Oh, 
There we go, baby. That beads was amazing. Every time I've uh, I've used my one. Well, not every time. I shouldn't say every time. But most times I've used my one and I've been close to him. He has used his three immediately after to knock me back up so I couldn't get the follow-up auto attack. So as soon as I use my one, I use my beads. And it worked. We pre-beads his knock up and we killed him with some autos. And I actually got a crit there. It only took 10 auto attacks to get a, a crit with a 20% chance. But, it, you know, we got there. We made it. Now, I want to be aggressive. It's just very difficult for me because my guy is Oleron. So, he does a lot of damage from a, a long distance away. Hello, I'm ulting this. Oh, it actually hit you. Interesting. I just wanted to ult the minion wave so I could have pressure. He just let that bonk him in the head. Nothing like a good old face bonk. All right, I'm slightly annoyed at you, so I'm going to go do Bull Demon. I have crit chance, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm 50%. All right. Use my three. I'm healing a good amount. Nice. Full demon down and in my favor. I will say I got to start doing a little bit more pressure here because what I'm doing, it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad, but it's not immaculate. All right. Now you're obviously going to fight in your alt. You have no anti-heal. So my three actually fucked. Running away. Fine by me. I don't care. I just want to keep... I want to take your tower with my Bull Demon. That's my main goal. If I can kill you, if you overextend your defense, that will be amazing, but I doubt you'll do that. That would be kind of moronic. Okay. Mm. Probably don't win this fight here. Gotta back out. I do need my, my Deathbringer, which is going to be actually 3,500 gold. So really far away from that. He wants to fight me, right? There, there's no way he doesn't want to fight. Nice. My beads came back up. I caught him when, uh, honestly, I caught him with his pants down. He was lazy backing. Well, I guess it wasn't lazy. I, I want to say it was lazy just because I knew I was following him, but in his eyes, there's no reason for me to follow him there. It was dumb of me to follow, but I did anyways. Um, however, because I was following him i'm gonna call it a lazy back and that's gonna be another kill and a full death bringer on that back i'm surprised he's not going defense he should be going spectral but he thinks more damage is gonna be enough i have 83 percent crit chance now thanks to the kill i have on rage and the death bringer now i need 2100 gold that is gonna give me my death bringer cooldowns aka my crit cooldowns and my boomba's hammer cooldowns Okay. I was going to ult him there, but I didn't get my ult off quick enough. I want to bounce that around over there. I was hoping it would hit him, but can't ever get so lucky, I guess. Uh, Boomba's is 100% the better call. So saving for 1500 gold rather than getting the finished Deathbringer is, is a better call. I'm going to wait for that. And obviously, I'm waiting for Bull Demon to come back up. I don't think I'm going to be able to take his tower, well, his Phoenix, really, until uh, I have Bull Demon. I am level 20. I'm only a few hundred gold away from uh, actually getting that Boomba's Hammer. He got a Rod, which gave him a lot of attack speed. I'll be honest. He's got a decent amount of power, and that power is being translated into attack speed right now. Okay. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. His ult is down. And now... 
I have 1500 gold. I'm going to go get my Boombas. And then I will get Bull Demon. And then I will hopefully win the game. Him getting level 20 would suck a little bit. Because obviously Mannequin's base is going to hurt. I can't get defense this game. And um, he can. He's not under any amount of rules or anything. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. It'll be it'll be a, a weird one for sure. Hold him down. Are you gonna push up in clear wave, or are you gonna sit back and try to defend? You're gonna sit back and try to defend. All right, that's a play I would make. Appreciate that. Let's keep going, dude. Let's just uh, honestly, I think it's W key time. I don't think there's any world. And where he lives through my onslaught. Unless he just gives up Phoenix. And that's exactly what's happening. You're, pretty, you're giving up Phoenix. Every time I even look at him, he runs away. Great news for me. Oh, amazing. Oh, okay. I was going to say amazing pull. And it was, but... uh unfortunately wasn't amazing enough but with boombas with boombas and my damage i'm doing just so much i'm doing so much work here he's got blue buff on i'm gonna back out i'm gonna go get my upgraded deathbringer and uh now i'm gonna go into Jotun's because i need completely max cooldown i have 30 percent here Obviously, a blue buff will give me the last 10%, but I don't really want to get blue buff. I could just get a 500 pot or a Hydra's. Um, I guess I could just get Hydra's. I mean, getting Hydra's crits on Hercules. Come on. That's nice. <laughs> so maybe we'll get that. But first, red buff. And second, I'm just going to try to win the game. I... If I can win the game before he gets level 20, better for me. He is 19 off that wave, which means he is about two waves away from level 20. Which means I have to win with my next one or two waves. One wave he's going to ult, the next wave he's going to commit full to. So I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I can force his ult here by just being slightly aggressive. Maybe a little bit too aggressive. Nice. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted, man. Hmm. My healing is really good. The problem is his damage is amazing. His clear is amazing. And then, uh, obviously, it's not only his clear that's amazing damage. It's his fucking auto attacks are slapping the dick off me. They're doing real good damage. So I don't know, man. I don't know. This is going to come down to the wire. Because he just hit level 20. And, and as you know, all around at level 20 is kind of like God. So... We'll see. I gotta go. Obviously, I want to upgrade my beads, but I want to go and get Bull Demon again. Also, only having 40% anti heal kind of sucks. He really wants that tower down. Not enough to die for it, though, right? Okay. If he was still here, he would have died for it, and he knows it. I am going to clear the wave and then go do Bull Demon. I could probably W key into the into the Phoenix and get it, but that's a little bit more risky than I want to be at the moment. So I'm just going to go get Phoenix. Or, or get Bull Demon and then I'll get Phoenix. My damage is really good. These hydros, the, these hydra autos are insane. Like nine autos for 6,600 damage on Bull Demon. Jesus Christ. That is up there. Uh, 
Uh, the mannequin mace, man. Oh, I'm dead here. Please. No. I didn't have beads. I actually lost, man. He gets my tower, my phoenix, and my titan with this push here. Damn. I was so close to winning this game, man. There's so many attempts. So many attempts at this damn challenge. It's impossible. God damn it, dude. Yeah, he wins the whole game. He gets Tower Phoenix and Titan with one kill. Damn, dude. I just don't have the push. I don't have the push to stop. And I can't get the fence because of the, the parameters of the challenge. Just one crit chance and Boombas in max cooldown. So, damn, dude. I don't know. I'm going to chalk this one up as a, as a loss. Like, uh, five games in, about three hours of queuing and recording. And it's, I'm just not going to be able to get it today. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you saw I was 3,000 MMR when I started. Now I'm 2,700, so. Damn. Unfort. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe request a more doable challenge, please. I would much appreciate it. And until next time, guys, peace.